Hey everybody, welcome. Andrew Ains with Golf Academy here. Thanks as always for watching, thanks for tuning in today. Just a little video of teaching one today, just something to get a discussion going. My videos are all about trying to um, get discussion, you know. What do you think? What do you do? What do I think is right? What do I think is wrong? Is there a right way? Is there a wrong way in the golf swing? I think the more I teach this amazing game of golf, it makes me realise that sometimes there's no right way, there's no wrong way. Everyone's a little bit different. Everyone has to do things the way that they see it best and works best for them. So the topic of conversation today is, is to do with width of stance. Now, you know, I teach thousands of golfers here through my golf academy and I see width of stance varying from something like this, which would kind of try and split your trousers, it's that wide, right through to very, very narrow stances. Now, let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of a wide stance, a narrow stance, and a normal width of stance. Let's go to wide stances first. I see this quite a lot. Um, with all age ranges, it doesn't matter if it's young, mid, or older people, male and female, I see lots of wide stances. Let's look at some of the famous players who are using uh, wide stances. The person who springs to mind is a guy called Mo Norman. Now, I know a lot of you out there watching the videos will have heard of Mo Norman. He's a Canadian guy and reputedly one of the best ball strikers that ever walked the planet. If you haven't watched any videos about Mo Norman, go and check him out on YouTube. There's loads out there. Fascinating guy to, to listen to. Um, he was very much a one-plane golf swing and when he used to go on the range and hit golf balls, other tour pros would just stop and watch him uh, hit ball. Very funny to listen to, very direct. So Mo Norman, Mo Norman used to go with a very, very wide stance and he wasn't into you know, big rotation. He was trying to keep everything very stable here. He felt that movement down here was just gonna make hitting the golf ball more difficult. So Mo Norman was, was, had his own technique when I see this happening with a lot of my pupils' wide stances, what it tends to do, and I guess what it's designed to do, is it restricts rotation. So, dependent on what camp you're coming from, I tend to favour a rotational type of swing where I'm trying to get people to turn into their right side, wind up the hips so that they can unwind them on the way down. So if you're a little bit too wide in the stance, that can make it very difficult to start to rotate. And you can see here, I'm trying really hard to turn, but I'm not able to load much weight onto my right side. So in that case, I would tend to take someone into a slightly narrower stance. I tend to talk about width of your hips, width of your shoulders. From here, you can start to generate rotation on the way back and rotation on the way through. What you wind on the backswing, you can unwind on the downswing. It's one of my teaching philosophies. What would happen if you went too narrow? So if we go a little bit too narrow, then that's gonna make the rotation quite easy to do, but it could also start to make me get a little bit off balance on the backswing. It's a drill which I use for somebody who isn't experiencing a turn or doesn't use the hips particularly well. I use the old feet together drill, where I just get somebody to go and put the feet together very close and just swing the club with the feet together. Now with the feet together drill you've got to turn because if I don't turn and rotate I'm going to lose my balance on the back swing or on the down swing. So it's an interesting one isn't it this um, wide stance. Who else uses a wide stance today? Let's think on the US PGA Tour um, guys who spring to mind Jimmy Walker um, big guy, you know, six foot whatever, huge guy, he, he uses a big wide stance and the other guy who springs to mind is Gary Woodland, who again, big fella, wide stance, wide base. Now, I wonder if that's because they're tall that they can get away with using a wider base to work from, but interestingly some of these big hitters talk about having a, a much wider, stable, you know, lower half. Um, Maybe it's because they're very strong, very athletic, that they can get away with, with this wider stance. So yeah, those are a couple of guys who spring to mind. I'm sure there's many out there who also use the wider stance. So food for thought, let me know what you think. Are you a 
wide stance, narrow, or something in the middle. Always good to hear from you folks, get your opinion on it. Let's get talking, let's have a discussion on it. So, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my videos, button down there, which you can press, and you can subscribe to them, so you'll get a little notification when I post new videos. So, thanks for watching, it's been a pleasure, and I look forward to doing more videos very soon. All the best, bye for now.